and it was big and i say it disrupt it was disruptive because it was it changed our life everything about our life changed everything you know except for who we are so we had to adjust with what we walked into mosquitoes inject you with stuff and then take your blood but the reason why you don't feel it is because they put that I guess the numbing stuff in you then you start to itch after they done took what they want I, I can't deal it's just too much ships out here full mosquitoes attack me share that um, we will be talking more about our journey from Florida to Houston we've been here for a little while and just trying to adjust more <sighs> have we adjusted so a lot a lot okay oh sir where you going you don't come out the house Okay, because they can <laughs> get a lot of things in. <laughs> I don't like to come out that much, but then they say that comes from work, working remotely and you just at home. I'm still, I know, I thought the people was coming down the wrong side of the road. Street. I don't know. But we didn't have the tornado. Rainstorm, rainstorms, so many. We have had um, hurricane. Have we had hurricanes? I don't know. Well, we didn't have flash. Hell. We had flash floods. Um, a lot of rain, 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 rain. We've had the hottest summers. This heat is nothing. This heat does not take does not have 
anything. This this heat is nothing like Florida heat. We've been in Florida for over 20 years, and this 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 heat is this heat is like cutting on the stove. Yeah, just sitting on. Let me let me see what what I can say. You know, I got one. You know what this heat is like for for me. Torment. Walk. Well, I don't know what term, how torment feel. You know what it feels like for me is when you walk in a sauna. I've been in a sauna before, and that heat hits you a dry sauna, not with the steam and all that. A dry sauna. That that is what Texas feels like. If you ever been in a sauna, that is what Texas feel like. Dry heat. And it's even like that late at night. You open the door, go outside, and it just hits you. You're just like... That's, that's how it is. That is how it is. And, you know, sometimes it takes time. You know, when you come to a new place to get your bearings going. Um, that big question that's always asked because our ch channel was CB Smokehouse Barbecue and we um, we're not running our trailer at this time I work remotely from home CB works outside of the home and we had to adjust with that because that's what we're doing right now will we open back up our trailer I don't know right now we're not we're we are just into life. So many things have changed. So many things, you know, stay the same. But, you know, with change, you have to do what you have to do. You can't just stay, sit in. But as I don't open it up, I'll keep it closed. I'll always be CB. Yeah, because the gift is in your hands, not in a trailer catch that so um the business we will always have the business with us we're just saying as far as our food trailer and you know <sighs> yeah, and, and I'm, <laughs> so I'm still cooking cook for the job cook food and then I do like 11 different flavor pork skins pork runs the soft con mm -hmm. So I'm cooking but every week. Yeah, we we are into the um, port skins business per se. Um, let me see how this this, this can go right here. Oh my gosh, that's a big head right there. Um, the port skin business per se, but it um works. You know, everything is working. The way, it, the way it's supposed to look. If you never had a big change in your life, then it might be hard for you to understand what we're saying. But if you have had big change, and I'm talking about big change, I'm not talking about changing a job or, you know, moving to another house. Well, have, Our life was disrupted. Well, I have to say everybody had a, you know, a change but you know it's difficult for each person so and we're talking about our experience let's see my our phone keeps sliding because i'm trying to put it on the thing we're talking about for our experience if you have never had a huge change in your life a big big change it was big and i say it disrupt it was disruptive because it was it changed our life everything about our life changed everything you know except for who we are so we had to adjust with what we walked into. And, you know, it was, it's, um, I don't know if we ever be able to explain everything, but we're here. Still moving, still doing, still living, still doing what we have to do. And we, we thank God. But I have to say, it had to been in God way. Amen. Amen. Because you can't do nothing on your own. Mm -mm. But make a mess. Yes, because if this was our doing, <laughs> I, I don't know. We, I talked about this a tiny bit as far as like being an entrepreneur or being 
working a nine to five. Uh, we've had both. From the time you wake up to the time you lay down, all that is dependent on you when you're an entrepreneur. Everything, everything to make money, to bring money in the house, to do anything, it's all on you. You need the help of your customers and have a great product so that your customers can enjoy it and buy it and spend money with you so you can be able to prosper. Customers rule the world because everyone needs customers. Doctors, um, the restaurants, department stores, everybody, everyone needs customers. Customers. I don't know how to say if they, if they customers or what, but even if you're in a home. For it to run and do what he need done, he got to have bodies. And I was talking with this guy one time. His daddy been a, he had his own funeral home. He said his daddy say one time, so I hope nobody don't die, but he hope Ben is a pickup. Very slow. Mm. Every every business needs that is true. Every business needs customers in order to stay in business. And whenever you that's entrepreneur. So that's you need that. You need the customers. When you're working a nine to five, you don't have to worry about that. You just go in it. Well, you have to think about is doing your job. Yes, it's a lot of layoffs going on. It's a lot of things going on and everything. But you, you just have to be productive. Do your best. And if something come up, then you have to move. And when I say move, I'm talking about move to something else or do something else. Another question I have. Why do people talk so bad about their jobs? If you don't like the job, why don't you just go to another job? I know I say it like it's so easy, but that's the job you chose. You knew how much you were making. You knew when you signed the paper how much you was going to be making, what you was going to do, everything. Why do people talk so bad about their jobs? And I, I, I don't understand that. I have been in, in at jobs where I was very um, satisfied and dissatisfied. And it was my fault because if I didn't like it, I could have left. I didn't have to stay there. It was on me. It was on me to, you know, do what I have to do. It's not that, I mean, you see, you know the type of job you have. You know what's expected of you. And if you don't like it, then you move on. You can like the job. Mm -hmm. But some people who work with you can make the job more hard by being lazy, don't want to do this, don't want to do that. Keep it confusing up all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not a person to get into different things and stay in gossip and all that. That is not me. I do enjoy working remotely. I go to work one day out of the month, which is beautiful to me. And it works for me. I don't I don't have to worry about um or think about, you know, dealing with clicks and all this other stuff. That's that's never been me. Or I got to be like this. Or I, I got to get this. Or I have to have what they have. I just, that's just never been myself. I've never been like that. I can go to work and I'm fine. But you, when you find yourself in that, that's what makes... You know, that's a whole nother conversation. The best job you can have. Running machines. Because you... It, just you and that machine. And you got to deal with nobody else. And that's why I run on my lawn three machines. And I don't, all I don't... I don't have to deal with nothing. Mm-hmm. Probably get some time. Sometimes get tired of hearing the machine run, but other mm-hmm. than that. I understand. Well, we wanted to come in and speak with you all for a little bit that we're together because it seems like we all we we both work during the daytime, but now getting us to be together in a day off together that that this was a taking we haven't had this in so long unless it's like the weekend or something yeah so 
we're going to go ahead to this appointment. We may pick back up and chat with you all. If not, thank you all so much for stopping by. And we'll talk again. We have so much to talk about. All right. It is early morning. So sorry for the, not the, gla the there's no glare and, you know, the light is dull a little bit. So let us get in here to this appointment. We'll Can talk we, to y'all soon. Be safe. Be safe. Lessons. Please. Mm-hmm. <laughs>